Thank you for coming. Appreciate everybody being here. Uh, we from the United States are very proud to have Jason as a member of our team. He's a full member of Team USA. He will be participating in all our programs. Uh, and as a member of the team, we'll be competing uh, as, a, as a, an athlete from the United States. Everyone knows why I made this decision. You know, it wasn't strictly about the swimming. It was you know, about the whole experience. And um, it's just something that I had to do at this point, and I hope everybody understands. Well, it's always been something that's been important to me. I competed in the JCC Maccabi Games in the United States twice when I was younger as a kid. And uh, it's always been uh, something that I really wanted to do, but it's always conflicted with world championships. And finally, I got to the point in my career where I thought this was the right opportunity, this was the right time. I'd been to the world championships numerous amount of times, and uh, this was a great opportunity not only as a competitive swimming event, but as a whole experience. And I'm going to be able to you know, be with the team and do all these different things in the pre-camp go to the opening ceremony, something I've never done before at the Olympics, and just enjoy the whole experience. So when it came down to it, it wasn't solely a swimming competition, it was a whole experience. Ron mentioned uh, that uh, you would get up at five in the morning and you would train, but I know you had an unusual also relationship with not really having personal trainers. You want to explain to us how you actually uh, became a swimmer of so, so, such uh, great success uh, and how you trained? Well, I had uh, coaches and trainers for um, 25 years. I, I swam uh, since I was five, and until I was 30, I had coaches in the pool. And um, once I got to a point, my coach took a job at a university, and I felt like I had learned enough throughout my career that it was a great opportunity for me to apply everything I'd learned and do it my way. And the hardest part was actually not knowing what to do, but being by yourself most of the time and doing it. And I'm really self-motivated, so that's how I was able to get in the water by myself a lot of the times. And, do the hard work and do what I needed to do. But luckily, as I've gotten older, too, the 5 o'clock in the morning thing has stopped. And um, you know, I train once a day now, so I make that a little bit later in the day and make it during when the sun's shining. But uh, you know, it was you know, a lot of years of waking up at 5 o'clock, a lot of morning practices, a lot of afternoon practices, and um, you know, a lot of learning. That's how I got to the point in my career where I am today. And I, I continue to learn from you know, mistakes and uh, just grow from that. Jason, we all saw the famous races from Beijing. Was it the highlight of your career? And uh, do you still look for, looking forward to the Olympics in London? Yeah, I mean, definitely the whole experience in Beijing was the highlight of my swimming career. Everyone looks at that 400 freestyle relay and says that's you know amazing, the gold medal, the comeback. And but for me, what's equally as important to me is winning a bronze medal in the 100 freestyle. Even though it wasn't a gold, it was a bronze. That was my first individual medal. I'm still training, and I feel good right now, but. That's the goal to make it to London, but it just all depends on if my body can hold up and I can stay injury free, because that's the hardest part right now, the recovery process and little small injuries getting in the way. So, you know, hopefully I, I could be there. You're here for a few days already. Do you feel the buzz around you? Do you feel it on the streets? <laughs> no, I haven't talked to anyone on the streets yet, but, um, <laughs> you know, I've seen some of the other athletes, um, you know, knowing that, um, you know, I'm, I'm one of the role models to them is great, and to be able to uh, talk to some of the kids, whether it's the junior team or even some of the open athletes, so far it's been great. And I know once I get to the actual competition and seeing some of the people from the other countries, it's going to be, you know, a great experience, and I'm really looking forward to it. And, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, I'm not here trying to impress people, or I'm not here trying to, you know, make a difference in people's lives, but I know that, you know, a lot of people might look up to me in certain ways, and I'm going to do the best job I can to help inspire them and uh, be the best person I can to represent the United States as well. Jason, you were in Jerusalem yesterday. What were your impressions? I mean, it was great. I got a chance to meet the mayor, which was, you know, a neat experience for me. It's not something the average person gets to go do, so that was, that was great. And um, to be out there with my team and um, go to Yad Vashem, which is obviously, you know, a great learning experience, but it's also pretty sad as well. I mean, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, you know, that's a, that was a touching experience, you know, to be honest with you. And today I'm going to get a chance to go into Jerusalem again and see the old Jerusalem, which is, you know, from what I hear, it's spectacular. So this whole experience to me, that's, you know, obviously why I came to. It's not all about the swimming, like I said before. It's about a chance to be with the team. It's about a chance to see all these different things that, you know, I've heard about. And maybe I studied a little bit when I was a kid, maybe forgot a little bit about something. So I get a chance to refresh my memory and actually see it in person, which is, you know, by far 10 times better. Um, you know, a lot of it has to do with 
some of like, you know, I was, I was in Hebrew school when I was young. You hear about these things, you learn about these things, but it, this chance to see them and the chance to actually get in touch with them and really be in contact with things is a whole different story. And, um, you know, it's something I knew I wanted to do in my life, and I didn't know that it was going to be at a swimming competition, but I knew it would be at something that I would do one day. One last question, that is uh, Southern California, Irvine, and Santa Barbara, where you went to school. You see any similarities between Southern California and where you are now in Israel? Obviously, the warm weather and, you know, the beach being close by are both similarities to where I grew up. And I haven't had a chance to get to the beach yet, but I'm looking forward to that. I know we're going to be staying in Netanya across the street from the beach, which is going to be great. And um, for me, I just love, I love warm weather. You know, I was recruited to go to a lot of schools in places where uh, the weather wasn't quite the same as it is in California. And I decided to stay in California because of, you know, the people there and the same thing here. I think when, when, when it's nice weather, you're by the beach, people are more laid back, they're relaxed. And, um, that's the type of person I am.